it is a good idea for you to review these notes before starting the induction review video lessons. Again, you can download these notes and the practice problems at my website. Let's find the direction of the induced current in each wire loop. To find the direction of the induced current, first we look at the, whether the magnetic flux through the loop is increasing or decreasing. Since the magnet is being pushed into the wire loop, the magnetic flux is increasing. That means the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field, they have to be in the opposite directions. The original magnetic field is produced by the magnet, and the magnetic field lines should go into the south, out of the north, so inside the magnet it goes that way. So the original magnetic field goes to the left, and then that means the uh, induced current's magnetic field should go to the right. If we use the right hand rule, that means uh, the four fingers should point to the right, and that means uh, our thumb, which is the current, will go down in the front up in the back. So the current must go down in the front like this. Because the resistance over here is increasing, that means that the electric current in this wire loop is decreasing. That means that it will produce a weaker magnetic field. So in this case, the magnetic flux is decreasing. That means that the original magnetic field and the induced current's magnetic field must be in the same direction. Now this one here, because of the iron ring, it's more complicated. Let's see. The battery pushes the current out this way. So the current over here goes to the left in the front. That means uh, if I use my thumb to follow the current, behind the current, inside the coil, the four fingers go down. That means the magnetic field inside here goes down. And that means uh, the field lines which stay inside the iron ring would go around like this. So down on the right side, up on the left side. So that means the original magnetic field produced by this current would go up right here. That means we want the induced current to give us a magnetic field in the same direction, upward inside this coil. That means that I have to use my four fingers, point upward, and my thumb goes to the right in the front. So the current must go to the right in the front, to the left in the back. So the current goes this way.